Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really exciting video. It is my first impressions, like first tutorial on the Manny MEA Makeup Geek Palette. Um, I ordered this well over a month ago. It arrived last Monday, but I've been waiting to play with it until I knew I could film a video. So I'm just going to dive right in. Just open this so the package is it's amazing. It's got a nice picture of Manny on the back. So that's why I'm sitting here with no makeup on because I was in my eyes first and I don't know what I'm doing. So, so it just looks like that. It's got the shades on the back and look. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful in your life? Like I'm just, I just, I just couldn't believe how excited I was to get this. Um, I went, I got it from the Makeup Geek site on its own because. I know it was available on Beauty Bay for like a short time but I missed it completely like when I saw it was on Beauty Bay because they never really advertised it because they weren't getting that many um, by the time I saw it on Beauty Bay it was completely sold out so I went on Makeup Geek and they were sold out but you could pre-order it so I signed up and pre-ordered it um, and I actually had to pay customs on this unfortunately um, I think it was like 14 or 15 pounds of customs um, fees which I don't mind too much because I just had to get this. Just take the sticker off the mirror. Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Right. First, I'm going to prime my eyelids using my usual Urban Decay primer potion in Eden. So I've pinned my hair back because I forgot to do that and I've also shut the window because there was loads of background noise um, and I was getting distracted. So I'm going to set my primer with um, Urban Decay Naked Basics palette using Walk of Shame. Right here, as usual. I just think this is a perfect like skin tone colour, like nice peachy pink. And it is always best to set your base because it means that the shadows won't drag when you're building them on top. Right. Hmm. I really have no idea what kind of look I'm going to go for today. Um, I didn't buy the Manny palette for like all the shades because I actually have quite a few of them, like all the ones that are. Um, permanent, I already have. So I already have Beach and Cream, Frappe, Cosmopolitan. Um, I already have all of them, but the other shades are incredible. So I think I'm just going to start. I'm going to start with a crease brush, and I'll we'll start with. I'll start with Beaches and Cream. as my initial. Transition shade. We'll just buff that in at the crease. I'm going to include swatches of these eyeshadows um, either in the end or I'll insert them as I want to. I'm just so excited to get this eyeshadow palette. 
was waiting for the postman like every single day um, and it finally came last Monday when I was at work I'm quite glad I bought it on Makeup Geek because the way the conversion rates work, worked, it worked out cheaper than what I could have bought it on Beauty Bay anyway. I think it worked out about the same with the customs. Which just took such a long time. But, and I also saw when Rachel Leary got hers from Beauty Bay, it was broken. One of the shades was, was completely smashed on the inside. She managed to fix it, I think. But that would be my worst nightmare because I have absolutely no idea how you'd fix that, like, at all. Oh, I can't wait to get into the pretty colours. Okay. Take a base shadow brush from Real Techniques and just in the colour, hmm, do you use or frappy? I'm going to use soda first. I think it's a little bit shimmery. I'm just going to build that up on the outer edge. I think I'm going to do a winged out eye look, so I'll just bring that out a little bit. And I'll just clean it up with the white later. This palette looks as if it's got everything you would need for an eye look, like you wouldn't need any other shadows. Like sometimes eyeshadow palettes come and they've got like not enough transition shades, or it's, they've not got. Um, enough like pops of colour to change up your look all the time you'd have to do like the same look I think you could do loads of different things with this palette I've been watching so many tutorials waiting for this palette to come like what I can do with it hope this look comes out alright actually because I've not as I say, I've not like played with it. All I did was open it once I got it, but I haven't, I haven't even swatched anything yet. So it's such a nice colour. I'm just bringing it right in now. I'm just going to take a shading brush from Real Techniques as usual, as all my brushes are. Just dip that in, pack it on the lid. Oh, this colour is beautiful. Oh, I really like that. I think this is going to look amazing with like Mars and Aphrodite. I'm sure Luna is a foil, so I think that's why it's so 
pigmented and just amazing it's like so sparkly wow that color is incredible just gonna build up the crease a little bit just gonna stick frappe on just in the crease a little on another base shadow brush I have about five of these these brushes are amazing I'm just going to start off lightly oh my god that is so pigmented wow that is amazing Oh, that is so pigmented. Oh, that is incredible. It's like a like a raspberry kind of cranberry color. have anything like this at all. It's an amazing colour. Just gonna pack up the outer edge. So I'm just gonna blend that out with my original Let's crease brush. I'm actually going to take some beauty and cream just on that brush just to help blend a little bit better. take Aphrodite on a bold, um, it's bold Metals tapered shadow brush just dust that off and just start in the upper corner just kind of blend that in. just to tone down the raspberry a little bit I'm just going to blend out the edges with some peaches and cream.
take Luna again and just pop that Brighten that up because it's kind of got a bit darkened. Pack some more of that on. I'm just taking that up to where my eyebrow finishes. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take just a little pencil brush and a tiny bit of peaches and cream and just buff out the edges. I don't want to do a wing shadow. But I do want the wing effect so I don't want it to be too harsh. blend it out a bit. Oh, and now I'm going to put mascara and lashes on and I'll be right back. So that's me finished the rest of my face so now it's on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take, hmm, I think I'm going to take Frappe on a pencil brush. Under there. Right onto the inner corner, so I'm going to take Artemis again. Okay. That's the finished look, so thank you for watching this video and please stay tuned for the next one.